flight instruction Craig Brown and today I'll be going over how to wear the flight training uniform or FTU. To start off we will be going over headdresses you can wear with the FTU. So we can either wear the wedge here which it follows the same rules as whenever you're wearing it which is one, two from the brow, three on the right, four on the left. The other headdress that we can use will be the braid. We'll all be issued this eventually, for now, until everyone has one, where we will be wearing the wedge. But, for when, you need to form the braid. When you first get the braid, it will look like a chef's hat, like this. You do not want it to look like a chef's hat. We want to form it over nicely, so it flops over to the right. And we have the cap badge here, above our left eye. So, take a basin of cold water, you just run it into the tap. Make sure it is cold. If you use hot water, it will shrink because it is made out of cotton. So, soak it here. And now, forming it on your head. So first you squeeze out the excess water. And then, placing on your head, put the cat badge on. Align it with your left, above the left eye, it'll drip, but pay attention to it, try to get it to fold over, I'm just going to flop back over here, there we go, you want to fold it over, pulling as you go, pulling back, make sure it's aligned properly, above the left brows, keep going, when you first do this, it'll take a few tries, but that's going to help you, see if it looks good. You just hold in this position. And then you let it sit on your head and it'll dry. And repeat whenever your brain decides to unform. Alright, so, right, so next we'll be going over how to wear the tunic. One thing to note with the belt, always remember brass on brass. So, the tunic, there are two types of tunic. I have the newer one where the right badge and the epaulette are in the center. Older ones will have it on the shoulders, and if you have that, just put your right badges on those. So, putting on the tunic works just like a jacket or a coat. Flare the collar, remember it should be down like this, and not up like that. So, you start off just buttoning up. I will start here. But, when you get to the second one, stop. And you will have these strings here. You tighten them around evenly until you can feel it around your body. Then you just tie a basic shoelace knot. Now, you take this knot, you twist it, and moving it back and up, you put it on the button. Like that. And pull through. Next, we will repeat this with the bottom one. So, tighten it, and just tie a shoelace knot. Pull the loops until it hits the ends. Twist it. Bring it back up and put it with the bottom one down to the second button. Pull it through. You should not be able to see the string or any unevenness when you're putting on the tunic. Uh, another thing to note, if you want the tunic to be relatively wrinkle free to this, just put it in the dryer for 5-10 minutes along with the pants. Alright, so next we'll be going over how to blouse the trousers. When you have these, you do not want them dangling like you would when you're wearing your full uniform or your summer dress. So, first to start off with, you get your places out, tuck them in. Now, there are two main ways to blouse a pair of trousers. The first one is using Velcros or elastics. You can use a hairband elastic, for example. And all you do with these ones is take the Velcro, wrap it around, right just above the boot and then taking the bottom edge of the trousers just 
stuffing it back up. And what this does, it allows the food to reach up more, and then you can just pull it out, adjust it, and pull up. And repeat with the other side. And that's how you do it with the Velcros. Now, if you don't have any hair elastics or Velcro ones you can get from the Canics, the other solution is to use the built-in ones. So, if I pull it up here, as you can see here, there are drawstrings on the bottom. Now, if it allows it with the drawstrings, you take the cuff, align it where you would normally blouse it, and you tie it off. And you can just do this in another shoelace knot. Square knots are hard to undo. And you just pull it down and it doesn't look as nice, but it does work. And now repeat on the other side. There we go. All right, next we'll be going over how to apply polish to your combat boots and how to lace them. So to start off with, you do not actually polish the combat boots per se. Put on more of a base coat. So, you do not need kiwi polish, you can just use any old shoe polish. So, first step is to open the tin. Now you take your applicator brush, give it a good swirl in the polish, and all you do is just apply it. And you would apply this whenever you get your boots to the dusty, so it's just a simple weekly thing. Just quickly coat it in polish and don't need to make it shiny. Just need to make it black. You want to make sure you work your way up the side of the boot too. You should get just there. And of course, don't do this with the laces in, otherwise you get polish all over your laces. But Now, take your buffing brush, buff across it, long strokes, just to smoothen out the roughness. Next, we'll have to take a old toothbrush or a new toothbrush, as long as that's the one you use. Swirl it in there, and make sure you get off the excess and just do the welts of the boots. It's especially important to do the welts and the sole of the boots because they are often the parts that will get the most black. Now, once you're done with that, you can just take your buffing brush again and just take off any polish that might have gotten back into the boot. That was the first boot. I'm going to do the second and I will come back to you with the lacing. Okay, now with our boots black, we will go over how to lace your boots back up. So, when you're lacing combat boots, it's basically the direct opposite of what you do with parade boots. It, instead of being, instead of being straight laced, it is being cross laced. And when you start, it's in to out. So, through then you take it up you balance out and just sort of try to align it like that and then you will start with I uh, will start with the right lace here you'll go to the next one in to out leave it there then you take the left lace in to out and I will take the next lace again in to out take the other lace and out and you will repeat this all the way up and when I get to the end I will show you what to do there so when you get to the top it is easier than the straight lace one you don't have to worry about Crossing one up normally, it's just keep following the pattern and you're through. 
I will now do this for the second boot and I will be back when that is done. There we go, the boots are all laced up and that is all. If you have any questions about how to wear any of the uniform, just ask me or another senior on a